Danny, you're the championship leader after the first round of the Ultimate Karting Challenge this season, but you lost the championship lead at round two when you had a bit of an incident. It took you until round six to get the championship lead back. You lost it at round seven. You've got it back after round eight. You've got a four-point lead now going into the final round, but what do you think the key is going to be to holding on to that championship lead? Yeah, it's just going to be definitely finishing, but finishing within four points of Ryan and Luke. OK, and looking back on round eight... Uh, the last round, Luke of course had all sorts of problems as we know and just ended up crawling across the line but you yourself had a big problem almost coming out of the final term with uh, Liam Kelly, you had contact with Liam, he spun off, you fortunately carried on but how did you see that incident? Well it was just that I was going down the inside of Liam and he just clipped my back wheel and I just kept my kept cool head and went for the flag really. Looking at the championship this season it's been the first time we've ever seen a reverse grid the first time we've used that concept in karting, championship leaders always starting last. You've had to do that a couple of times this season already. You're going to have to do it again at the final round being championship leader. How have you enjoyed that challenge? Yeah, it's just been really good the whole season. Me and my family have just enjoyed it thoroughly, had its highs and lows, ups and downs. It's just been a fantastic concept into karting, really. And looking forward to next season, 2007, a national championship next year, five different circuits around the UK. What difference do you think that is going to make to the championship? Well, it's definitely going to be because there's a few new faces in it next year and local track knowledge really. We've been to a few tracks and so it's just going to be just going to be a new learning curve for everyone really and it's just going to be fantastic, I can tell. Take that interview earlier in the week. Danny Sweeney was very cool then. He's very nervous this morning. Alex Alburn, Honda Cadet British Champion on pole. Josh White on P2 and James Appleton on three last month's winner. Miles Hart's on four. Then comes Jay Goodwin on P5. Starting on six is Ryan Morgan. Then Mark Wakefield off P7. Josh Fry back in the championship goes off uh, P8. Then comes Connor Savage, P9 and Scott Rickson on 10. Abigail Gary, former British Championship winner earlier in the season. She goes off 11. Pac-Man goes off 12. Henry Hunter off 13, then Jordan Horton off 15 is Bradley Ord, then Jacob Hunston goes off P16, David McNichol comes next, then Joe Byrne up from the south of the country off 18, P19 Connor Llewellyn, Luke Hughes is third in the championship, Ryan Burns is second in the championship and the championship leader is Danny Sweeney, if your name is Hugh Sweeney or Burns, take some heart tablets, I think you may need them we're off and running through the line, Hughes has got to get a cracking start, Sweeney's got to try and go with him, Hughes makes up four round the outside, make that five, make that six down the outside, make that seven as he goes past number ten as well, he's made up seven places, Joe Burns made up eight places minimum going through those two turns as well, make that nine places they come through the right hander at Dunlop Burn number five, you can see him, two places in front of Hughes, so Hughes has made up seven, make that eight through the right hander and Burn has made up now ten places on the first lap already and Sweeney is further back off Hughes He's got two or three carts between himself and Hughes. Burns has not had a great start, cart two there. Hughes has lost a place to Gary through the left hand rail onto Rogerson's. That is Joe Byrne, cart number five. He's up to six places starting 18th. He's made up 12 places on the first lap alone. Fantastic start by Byrne. Hughes there, cart three, he's dropped a place behind Gary. They look to make that up to coming down the straight as they go across the start finish line. Sweeney there, cart number one, championship leader. He's got three places to make up to get back to Hughes and Hughes makes the place up on Gary through the right-hander through turn one. This race promised much before it started and it's delivering already and we're only just over a lap in. Hughes has got five carts between himself and the championship leader and uh, that means he's just one point off the championship lead as things stand on the track at the moment but it's still early doors. Sam's got an interested spectator, Sam. Alan, I'm with Joe Burns' dad. Um, Joe's doing fantastically well and I also noticed that he's got himself a new sponsor. Yeah, he's sponsored by Kenshin Taekwondo and he's come all the way up here this weekend to see him race. So it's quite good. He's done quite well on the first lap there. He lucky gained about 10 positions. Yeah, it did. And it's definitely a good race for sponsors to come and watch, isn't it? Yeah, need more money then, don't we? <laughs> Get yourself another one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. We'll see what happens. As we rejoin it, Hughes is up to fifth place. 
and Sweeney further back. He still leads the championship currently. Sweeney on 248. Hughes currently now on 246. Burn back there on 237. Hughes has made another place on Morgan going through the left hand of the first part of Luna. So he's one point closer to Sweeney. 248 to Foot, 247. As things stand, what an exciting race this promised to be. Oh, Sweeney's off. Sweeney, a championship leader, has run off the track going up the straight. Oh, that's amazing stuff. He's run into the back of Josh Fry. I don't know whether Fry had some sort of problem that uh, caused Sweeney to run into the back of him. But he's lost three, four, five, six carts, six places. He makes one back on Fry, so he's lost five places in that one move alone. And that has given Luke Hughes a four-point championship lead. As six standing, he goes up the inside of Joe Byrne as well. And that gives him an extra point now. So he should move on to 248. 33 is Josh White, 10 Henry Hunter, 15 was Richard six McNichol. Came uh, Jordan Horton and Connor Savage, 9 and 16. That's 25, Ryan Morgan. He's closely pursued there by cart number 30. That's Miles Hart. Hart's had a good run last month. 13, Gary, former British Championship winner earlier in the season. Just uh, deposed there by Henry Hunter, who slides up the inside. These are the leaders. It's Alex Alban, under cadet British champion this season. He was runner-up in the W60 Championship as well. He's been closely pursued there by James Appleton. Appleton won by six seconds last month. No such luck this time. But there's Luke Hughes, started down there in uh, 20th place, up to 13th. He's made up 17 places in the race so far. You're right, Ben, but don't write the Sweeney off yet. He makes a place up on Rickson going down Rogerson's. It'll be lights and sirens blazing for the uh, young man from Hazel Grove near Stockport. As we see Miles Harper with a move on Ryan Morgan through the right-hander at uh, Luna Bend. There's Hughes, number three, especially followed by Byrne. 33, there's Josh White. Six in the picture just behind White. That's David McNichol. Then comes Gary, 13. Nine is Horton. Sweeney puts a move on Horton. Goes side by side with Gary. He's already made up a couple of those places he lost earlier on. Sweeney through the left hander. Oh, he's off! Straight on onto the grass. Oh, cannot believe it! The championship leader is out. Oh, that is incredible. Sweeney's car just looked like it never turned in the corner. He was side by side. He was on the wrong side of the track for the left hander. Let's have another look. The Pi Research replay should tell the story. They're coming out of turn one, they're side by side. They're coming down to the left hand. There's a little hump in the track around about there. It just unsettles the back of Sweeney's cart. Was that something to do with it? Certainly there was no contact from behind. Gary wasn't close enough. There was half a cart between them. And he just goes straight on onto the grass. And I think he's lost his chain as well. That's compounded the problem. So Sweeney's championship aspirations are gone. You have to feel sorry for him. But that is the nature of motorsport, I'm afraid. No drop scores in this championship. The 10-year-old from Hazelgrove near Stockport, so confident earlier in the week when I went to visit him at home, has lost it all in one corner. Sam? Alan, I'm with Julie Packenham Walsh, Piers' mother. Julie, we have an addition to the helmet this month, don't we? Yeah, um, thanks to Alan. Um, he actually um, nicknamed Piers the Pac-Man and said he was doing a pack attack. So we decided to put a Pac-Man on the back of his helmet, which has caused quite a bit of amusement this this day, to, uh, this race day. Now, how long did it take you to do that last night? Uh, not very long. His dad's quite creative. It wasn't me, I have to say. <laughs> So you can't take all the credit for it? No, not at all. No, no. It was all down to Dad, I'm afraid. I'll tell you what, if you thought this championship was all over and Burns was well out of it, which he was earlier on, Burns, Ryan Burns that is, is turning all round. There he is. If he gets past those two carts in front of him and Hughes is deposed by Joe Burn, who's right behind him, Ryan Burns will win the championship. And Burns slides up the inside for another spot. He's just got one more cart to overtake on the track. And that is going to put him in prime position, possibly, for taking this championship. Is Henry Hunter going to get that place back? He doesn't. So Burns just one point behind. And Conor Llewellyn, as a result of Sweeney going off, Conor Llewellyn has, has inherited third place. And Burns, as we rejoin it, is passed. James Appleton puts in the fastest lap. But Ryan Burns is passed into fifth place. So Burns on 248. Hughes on 248. They're tied. We knew it was going to be good, Ben, but what drama this is. 
Oh, burn up the inside. He is, but Hughes has got it back. Hughes has got burned back. Joe Burn, that is, down the inside. So Hughes back into the lead. He is tied on points currently, as things stand. But he's had two wins earlier than the season, which would give Hughes the title. But as they come down, Rogerson, has he lost it? He has! Oh, Hughes has lost it going through the left hander on the last corner. It's Burns that's back into the championship lead. He's still there in uh, what is fourth place. Alban takes the win. Appleton just second. It's a drag race on the line. Hughes and Burns! Hughes! Oh, by one thousandth of a second on the line. Hughes has taken the win. He's beaten Burn on the line. Here comes Ryan Burns. Car number two. Burns thinks he's won the championship. He's going to be disappointed when he sees the results. What a finish. Where are my tablets? Um, I started pole. I didn't have that brilliant start and I dropped down to second. But then I managed to get him, Josh White, straight back in a couple of corners. Then me and Appleton, it's like about like... We kept swapping over, and then on the last lap, I managed to get a bit of a lead, and so I didn't have to defend as much as usual. In all the excitement of the championship, it's easy to forget there was another race going on.